This is ridiculous. I'm too old for chicken pox. Dear Tim and Moby, what is chicken pox from Kayla? Well, first of all, chicken pox doesn't have anything to do with chickens. It's a disease caused by the varicella zoster virus. Chicken pox is a classic childhood disease. Most people get it when they're kids and come through it just fine. Well, there used to be about 4 million cases of chicken pox per year in the United States alone. But the number of cases has gotten a lot lower since a vaccine was released in 1995. Chicken pox can cause flu-like symptoms like vomiting, fever, and just plain old feeling sick. But the classic sign is lots of irregular red bumps topped by clear, fluid-filled blisters. Ugh. And the most annoying thing about them is that they itch. A lot. I know, I'm trying. You have to be careful not to scratch them, because they can scar or get infected. Oatmeal baths can help, and so can some anti-itch lotions. This is true, but even if you're good about not itching, the fluid will break out of the blister a few days after it appears. That fluid is really contagious because it carries lots of tiny little viruses. The sores stop being contagious after they crust over and fall off like little scabs after about seven days. You can be contagious for a couple of weeks, though, because new blisters pop up at different times. Because it's so easy to catch, it's important to stay away from people who haven't had chicken pox when you're contagious. That's why you have to stay home from school, even if you feel okay. Of course, even keeping away from people won't stop the disease, because it can spread through the air really easily. Once you've caught it, the virus has an incubation period of 10 to 21 days. An incubation period is the amount of time a disease takes to start producing symptoms. So, for chickenpox, you could be walking around with it for a while before you notice anything. You're also contagious for two whole days before you start seeing any symptoms. Well, for the most part, chickenpox is no big thing. Usually, the only treatment a kid will need is medicine to lower the fever and soothe the itching. But some doctors highly recommend getting the vaccine, because chickenpox does carry a slight risk of serious complications, including brain swelling, pneumonia, and skin infection. For most people to get it, though, it's just a temporary nuisance. One cool thing is, once your body has successfully fought off the virus, you're immune to it. You pretty much never have to worry about chickenpox ever again. Oh, well, some people do get it after early childhood. What a pain that is. And it's rare, but actually, some people do develop it more than once, especially if they have a mild case the first time around. Basically, their body didn't build up enough immunity against the virus the first time around. That's the body's ability to defend against the disease. Are you sure this is the only way to keep me from scratching?